Hi everybody! Hi. I hope you're all doing well. It's Chris, Amanda and Eleanor here from the PB team. How are you guys doing? Um, we're just here to give you a roundup of the hottest news for the week. Um, so Chris, do you want to take it away with the no-show story? Yes! So yeah, so um, one of the big stories, particularly over on our Facebook, is a story all about um, UK beauty and hair salons are losing up to £1.2 billion pounds a year mm. um, because of no-shows and missed appointments. Um, so this is by software provider powered by Flossy, and they say that London is the worst hit with uh, just under a third of women saying that they have no-showed an appointment. Um, which is pretty staggering figures, really. Yeah, it's a pretty shocking figure. And I think as well, you know, no-shows, it's not a new issue for the industry, mm. but it's just crazy to see the scale of it. Um, so it'd be amazing to hear what you guys are doing to try and prevent no-shows. Are you enforcing stricter cancellation fees? Are you enforcing stricter deposits? Are you taking more than 50% now? Are you taking the full amount to try and cut it down? It'd be great to hear about the policies you're putting in to try and prevent and get this figure down. Yeah, so we've got um, from our Facebook, I just picked out a few uh, little quotes from people. So Zoe Nichols says, never book them back in again unless they pay in full in advance, like Amanda said. Uh, Denise Sprague says, we've had this so often, so rude. Now we ask for payment in advance to confirm booking. Mm. And Lisa Young says, it's time for all salons to firm up their cancellation policy and mindset that they are selling their, their time. Um, it's not appointments, it's, it's their time and make it a standard for the entire industry. So yeah, some really good comments. Do let us know what your thoughts are. You can comment on this video or over on Facebook or on the article. So it'd be great to hear from you. Yeah, join the debate. Yeah, yes. let us know. We've also done a little bit of a deep dive into International Women's Day, which is coming up on Sunday, the 8th of March, um, and we've been looking at what the beauty industry has been doing. So one of the incentives that Benefit Cosmetics is doing is offering headshots in their um, London flagship store and also in Glasgow as well. The idea is that people get more views on the LinkedIn if they have a profile picture, but not everyone can have access to that, to a professional photographer. Um, we'll have the equipment, so that's a really good incentive that they're offering in the store for free. Yeah. Um, and then also nail transphobia in Brighton, that's headed up by um, Charlie Krabs, who's an award-winning activist and author. And the idea behind it is that she's offering um, free manicures with her team of transgender nail techs to kind of offer up mm. discussion and kind of get people to talk to, to each other and talk about breaking down barriers in the industry. Um, Kettering Park Hotel and Spa as well is also offering an afternoon of workshops and classes, everything from how to deal with the menopause through to being more confident and assertive. So there's lots of really interesting things going on and it'd be good to hear what you're doing in your business to yeah. celebrate the day. We're seeing lots of nail mm. art as well, which is really cool, kind of with lots of feminist quotes and yeah, little serenity really cool. and stuff. So yeah, there's lots going on. <laughs> And then finally, here at PB, we've been working on something super, super exciting. It's been a bit top secret for a couple of months, but um, it's officially launching tomorrow. And we are announcing our top 100 people who we think have made a difference in the beauty spa and now industry. So this has been a very carefully curated list done on a nomination system. And pretty much what we've looked at is people who have done something amazing to kind of change the industry. So whether they've developed an innovative product or treatment, or whether they've led change through their role at an association or governing body, or it's even some salon spa owners who expanded their business or launched an exciting new division, or even nail tech and makeup artists who inspired others through their creative work. So we're going to be launching that tomorrow at 9am on the website so you can see who they are, and then we're going to be profiling them in way more detail in some issue of professional beauty. Um, and we're going to be filming and photographing these top 100 at the PB London show. Mm -hmm. So pretty much really exciting. Can't wait for you guys to see the list and tell us what you think. So keep an eye on the website tomorrow. Yeah, really, really exciting. And as we said, PB London, it's coming up. We've got three and a half weeks to go. Uh, 29th and 30th of March, um, XL London. So much is going on. Uh, make certain that you're watching all of our videos with brands, with speakers, with reading lives. Mm -hmm. So much out there. So if you do have any questions, do make sure to let us know. You can register for your free ticket through the link in the bio. Yeah, so hopefully we'll see you all there. But otherwise, um, I guess we'll see you guys next week where we'll be interviewing a lot more of the speakers who are coming to the show. Yes, very exciting. See you soon, guys. Bye.